I'm going to show you a great recipe that takes the humble chicken Maryland, one of the cheapest cuts you can buy, and turns it into a million dollar French dish. Well, maybe not a million dollars, but somewhere close to that. Now, these Marylands have the skin on, and I like to leave the skin on and the bone. It holds the shape, but also keeps it nice and moist. Now, to turn it into a French dish is really easy. I've got some dried tarragon, but if you haven't got dried tarragon, you can use some oregano or some margarine. That gives it a great flavour as well. Now, this is going to be a chicken fricassee kind of recipe with lots of ingredients, but to get that little crust on the outside of the chicken, I use a little bit of flour. Just a little dusting of flour helps it to form a little skin and also helps to thicken up the sauce. Now, I'll move the flour over the side and we have to season it because salt loves meat, meat loves salt, and Chicken Maryland loves lots of salt on it because it's the salt that brings out the flavour. Now, it's seasoned up and floured. I'll turn it over in a second. But I want to draw your attention to my pan here. This is a great pan here. And the thermo signal in the centre there is solid, which tells me it's red hot and ready to go. Now, it's quite simple. Grab your olive oil like this and pop it into the pan. We want a nice amount of olive oil that covers nearly the bottom of the pan. I'm using really good organic extra virgin olive oil. That's going to give it lots of flavour. So you can put plenty of it in there and it smells delicious. As that oil is heating up, I just grab the chicken Marylands like this and just dust them around the plate here. So you get both sides seasoned with the flour, the tarragon and the salt and pepper as well. Shake a bit off and then straight into the pan. You can see that starting to sizzle and it's a good idea to start the pan off just a little bit lower so you don't burn the oil and you don't burn what you put into the pan. That way we're in full control. Pop this little chicken Maryland over there and you're looking at four Maryland here and I reckon you'd be able to fit maybe five Maybe six in here at a pinch. Now, to give it some more flavour, I've got some other ingredients, some thyme. This is fresh thyme that I love using and it's really easy to put together. Just grab your fingers and you peel off those little green leaves on the outside here. I'm using some button mushrooms or champignon mushrooms, we call them. I just cut them straight through the middle here. Mushrooms are beautiful. Plenty of nutrition in there and they're like little sponges that soak up all the flavour. I've got some shallots which have been cut in half and of course it's not a French dish unless you've got garlic in there. We want to be able to get the flavour of the garlic and also have some big chunks in there as well so we can chew on. I reckon we're just about ready to turn these over and I'll just grab this one here. Oh, look at that. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Now, I'm using this pan because it has such high sides so I know I can load it up with lots of ingredients in here and it's not going to spill over the side. And it's holding a lot of heat as well. Now the shallots, I just sprinkle around the outside here. In go the mushrooms and then of course the thyme and the bay leaf goes over the top of it. I'll add a bit more pepper to it, you can tell I love my pepper. And just a little pinch of salt. And for the next couple of minutes I'll just stir them around, maybe with a wooden spoon or a fork just to make sure that the shallots get down the bottom there, the mushrooms get in there and the thyme starts to cook. Listen to that sizzle. And once they've softened it up a little bit, I'll put the liquids in there and make it taste even better. Now, we have to have some butter in here because it's not a French dish unless we have plenty of President butter in there. And the thing I love about this butter is it is delicious. Now, I only ever put a little bit of butter in my dishes as I cook them. So there's a little bit goes in there and a little bit on this side here and then just a little bit more because butter makes everything taste delicious. Now, we need some wine in there, a good sploosh of white wine to colour it up. You can see that the chicken is loving that butter. It's just starting to soften up a little bit and the sound is sounding beautiful. Look at it, starting to sizzle away. A little bit of chicken stock in there as well to help give it some flavour. Now, the other thing that's going to make it really delicious is, of course, some cream. Yes, this is a dish that's way over the top. It's all about the deliciousness of the ingredients coming together. Now, that's come to the boil already, so I just need to pop this into the oven. It'll cook at 160 degrees Celsius for about 30 to 35 minutes. It will reduce down beautifully. The chicken will be golden. This will be fantastic. It's important when you finish a lovely dish like this that you get some herbs ready. There's nothing more delicious. And it also helps to give it a really nice colour. A little sprinkle of green on there just really, really picks it up. And then with the sauce, you grab some of the sauce and just glaze the top of the chicken. It looks fantastic. Smells amazing. Now, I'll just grab this little piece of chicken over there here like that. 
pop it onto the plate. And we've got the mushrooms, the shallots, and that creamy sauce going over the top there. And you can see that that flour I put on the outside of the chicken has helped to thicken it up. Now, I've got some thyme from my garden. We'll put a little sprig on the top there. Of course, we have to taste it to make sure that it's nice and delicious. One of the things I look for when you're cooking a dish like this that's been braised in the oven is it's got to be tender. See, it just falls apart. That's what you're looking for. A little bit of that sauce there, a little mushroom, a little champignon mushroom on the side there. Get that onto the chicken. <laughs> tender, flavoursome, juicy. That is a beautiful dish. So simple and really cheap to put together. Put it in the oven for a few minutes and it comes out as tender as that. That's going to impress everyone.